Hey, 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 how's it going? Do it yourself first. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can read your spark plug in order to try to figure out what's wrong with your engine. Yeah, if you can read one of these correctly, it can give you some vital information as to what's going on inside your engine, especially if you're having misfire issues or your engine is not running perfectly. Now, modern cars are equipped with a lot of sensors that will give you a lot of data if you have access to a scanner that can read live data and you know what to make of that data. Or maybe you aren't even working on a car engine. You might be working on a small gas powered engine like the engine on this leaf blower. Knowing how to read spark plugs can come in really handy. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna first go over how a spark plug works. We're gonna go talk about the different components of the spark plug. And also, if you're wondering why this spark plug is kind of small, that's because it's for a two stroke leaf blower engine. But obviously it works the same as a spark plug for a car engine. All right, so your spark plug is pretty simple. This is your spark plug terminal where it connects to your spark plug wire current, very high voltage current, comes through your spark plug wire and your ignition system through this terminal and it goes through the center electrode. That guy right here that's surrounded by this white insulation. Power comes through here and jumps the gap between your center or power electrode to your grounding or negative electrode which is this guy right here. This is grounded through the threads of your spark plug, which is grounded through your engine, which in turn is grounded to your car's chassis through a grounding cable that comes back around to the negative side of your battery and completes the electric circuit. So yeah, really high voltage with very little amp comes through this spark plug terminal. And since it wants to find its way to the ground side, it jumps the gap in between the two electrodes, creating that spark that ignites your air fuel mixture. And hence the name, spark plug. All right, so let's get started. So here's a look at a brand new spark plug. You can see how the insulation is pretty white, how the center electrode has a square shape up top and how the grounding electrode looks as well. So next we'll look at a worn spark plug. Now a worn spark plug doesn't mean that there is problems with your engine. You know, it could be simply that, it's worn. So it's important to be able to differentiate between a spark plug that's worn and a spark plug, you know, that's uh, showing you signs that there are other problems with the engine. Now it could be worn to a point where it's you know, starting to cause misfires on your engine, especially if you're you know, pushing your engine under load, you pull out your spark plug, looks this way, now then you're gonna know there's a problem with your spark plug and it needs to be replaced. So you're saying enough already, how does a worn spark plug look? Well, it sort of looks like this. It's not a badly worn spark plug, but yet it's still worn. You can see how the white insulation has started to get gray. And also you can see the center electrode, it's not as flat or squared up top. It's kind of rounded off, it's worn. And this gap has gone fairly large as you can see as well. So yeah, basically the white insulation is uh, gray to dark gray. The center electrode has worn out. It's not as squared up top. The grounding electrode looks pretty much okay. There's no weird deposits on the spark plug. This all indicates that this is simply a worn spark plug. All right, so next we'll talk about an oil fouled spark plug. Now, when you find one of these, it's usually accompanied by smoke coming out your tailpipe. You already suspect it, but you wanna make sure you go and, uh, to your engine, remove the spark plug and look at it and it's got oil goo all over it. That usually means nothing good, unfortunately. You either have badly worn piston rings, whereas the rings are worn out to the point where oil is escaping from the sides of your pistons and getting burned inside your combustion chamber and going out your tailpipes, or you have badly worn valve stem seals or valve guides. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in there. Valve stem seals basically seal around the stem of your valve, preventing oil from your cylinder head, uh, you know, leaking through the top of your valve into the combustion chamber and being burned out there and going out your tailpipe. If these are worn or your valve guides are worn where you know, this thing is wobbling here or kind of loose or you know at a bad angle, oil is gonna get through and it's gonna you know, get uh, burnt in the combustion chamber and go out your tailpipe. Now fixing either of those problems could be on the costly side. However, there's one more thing that could go wrong that will give you an oil fouled spark plug that'll be really cheap to fix, which also happens way more often than you think. And that is you overfilling your engine with oil. Everyone's gonna do this from uh, time to time, especially if you're starting out working on cars. You're not gonna know how to exactly put the right amount of oil in there. You might overfill it and then oil is gonna get forced past your piston rings and get into the combustion chamber, follow up your spark plugs and also go out your tailpipe as well. All right, next we'll talk about how your spark plug will look if your engine is burning some oil. Now this is gonna look pretty different from how your spark plug looks if it's a uh, oil fouled, whereas you can obviously see the oil on your spark plug, but that indicates again problems with your piston rings where a lot of oil is getting into your combustion chamber. But an engine that's burning a little bit of oil all the time, uh, the spark plug is gonna look different. It's gonna look like uh, it has 
uh, white deposits on your spark plugs. If you pull out a spark plug that's got white deposits all over it, that indicates that that cylinder at least is burning oil. Now, if you have an old engine that has 200,000 miles plus on it, and you pull out the spark plug and it looks, uh, you know, it's got some white deposits on it, that's not gonna be a whole problem. That's just the way it is. After a while, engines burn oil. But if you have a car that's, you know, let's say 100,000 or less, and it's, the spark plug looks like that, that kind of, you know, you should look into that. Either if it's still under warranty, take it in and try to get it fixed, or simply make sure you stay on the, your maintenance schedule, especially, you know, replacing the oil on time, all that. Because, you know, if it's the, if your piston rings are starting to wear out, or your valve stem seals or your valve guides, again, those cost a lot of money to repair. Now, there are other problems that could cause you to burn a little bit of oil, but we're not gonna get into that because this video would then be 30 minutes long. But generally speaking, if you see white deposits on your spoke plug indicating that you're burning oil, you wanna get that checked out and make sure it's nothing serious. All right, next we're gonna talk about a carbon filed spark plug. Now, some people confuse these with the oil filed spark plug, but you know, it's not really that uh, hard to distinguish between them. An oil filed spark plug will all have that obvious shiny look to it, whereas a carbon filed spark plug will uh, no, not be shiny and have a uniform uh, color, which is uh, de carbon deposits that look dark gray. All right, so if you have a carbon filed spark plug, it means that you're running rich. What does that mean? Well, it means you have too much fuel to too little air entering your combustion chamber. As far as how could that happen? Well, on the air side, you could have a clogged air filter that's preventing enough air to get into your engine. So then you would have too much fuel to too little air, giving you a rich mixture. On the fuel side, you could have a leaking fuel injector where it's constantly leaking fuel into the combustion chamber. You know, fuel, again, it's hydrocarbons. You get too much of that, you have carbon deposits on your spark plugs. Or if you're working on a small engine, like on one of these, it could mean that you're keeping the choke on for too long or, again, the air filter is clogged. Now, there is one other thing that can cause a carbon filed spark plugs, and that is you get the wrong spark plug, or in other words, the wrong heat range spark plug for your application. Now every engine comes with a spark plug that has a certain heat range. Your spark plug has to have a certain heat range because it needs to maintain a certain temperature in order to burn off the carbon deposits that are gonna get on it. Now if it's too cool, it will get those carbon, de carbon deposits on it that stay on it and it can't burn it off. But if it's too hot, it could also cause you know excessive temperatures inside your combustion chamber, causing detonation or engine knock, which uh, left, if left untreated, it could really do a big damage on your engine. So if you install the wrong spark plug on your engine that let's say it's cooler than it's supposed to be, you won't, your, that spark plug is not gonna be able to burn off the hydrocarbon or the carbon deposits that are gonna get on it and then you would have a carbon filed spark plug. But this isn't a really common problem with cars anymore. You know, you go to AutoZone or whatever, they give you the right spark plug. This uh, you know, happens with older cars or with uh, small engines like the Weed Whacker, chainsaws and other engines like that. All right, next up, we'll talk about how a spark plug will look if you have high combustion temperatures and or you're running very lean. All right, so when you pull out one of these spark plugs, the way it look is that the insulation part will look really light. It will look almost like white. And that's because, you know, your combustion temperatures are so high that it's completely burning off whatever deposits get on that insulation. Or in fact, it could be even be burning off some of the insulation itself, and that could be getting on your, you know, electrodes as well. Now again, running lean is basically the opposite of running rich, which means you're having too much air to too little fuel get into the combustion chamber. That usually means a problem in the fuel system. You either have, you know, a clogged fuel injectors, weak fuel pump, bad O2 sensors. You know, the list can go on as to why you're running lean. But it could also mean that you're simply, you have high combustion temperatures inside your combustion chamber to other problems like um, or advanced timing that could again be causing detonation or engine knock or simply having engine knock to some other problem. Whatever the problem is, if you pull out a spark plug, if you're having car problems, engine problems, and you pull out a spark plug and it looks that light gray or white on the insulation and the electrodes seem to have some of that on them as well, that indicates you're running very lean and you're having engine knock and detonation um, as well probably. And that's, if that's the case, you need to have that checked out immediately because engine knock and or detonation can lead to major engine problems. Now, if you pull out a spark plug and it looks like this, or in other words, it's physically damaged uh, and barring no foreign objects going into your engine to do that, that means that you're running as lean as you could possibly run. <laughs> and that's really bad because it's gonna cause really high combustion temperatures. When that happens, again, you get engine knock, detonation, and you know after that, you might get pre-ignition. And when that happens, your internal engine parts are gonna be severely damaged, causing you or requiring you to buy a new engine. 
So yeah, if you pull out a spark plug that's physically damaged, make sure you don't just put a new spark plug in there and start driving your car. Make sure you get that checked out. And if it's running too lean, fix it. Maybe there's a problem with the timing, get that fixed. Cause if you, if you don't fix the underlying problem, that's just gonna go back to square one and you could, the next time you may not be as lucky and have pre-ignition and severely damage your engine. Uh-oh, you have some butt hair out. You know what that means. That means this video is over and I gotta go take these guys for a walk. But fear none, because if you like this video, I put links to two, two more videos on this side of the screen that you can check out. There'll be links in the description box down below as well. All right, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.